torn so deep Falling down through the clouds I feeling you Welcome back to It's Cards Art once again and this been a long time again that I'm recording this video because last time I recorded a video was in December and after that I, I posted those videos and I did not, did not publish them but I scheduled them to uh, publish in a manner. So Happy New Year uh, first of all uh, I'm saying I'm wishing you Happy New Year in 20th January. Anyway, so today the move that I'm gonna teach you is not a hard move or even an intermediate move. This this move was uh, one of the first moves that I learned uh, when I was entering in the cardistry world, and this move is basically for the prime beginners who are just holding the cards and learning dealer's grip or upward straddle grip like that. But um, after you nail down this move, you will feel a really pleasing. Anyways, without talking further ado and this, let's get into the tutorial. So this is basically a three packet false cut. Now, uh, if you don't know what false cut means, it basically means that you are cutting the packets like this visually, but uh, at the end, after you nail down the move, the order of the deck will remain the same and they will not change. You can use this type of moves even as a magic trick to the uh, kids. Yeah, spectator or misdirector, whenever you uh, split two cards like this and they will think that the cards are mixed up. But first you have to hold the cards in uh, straddle grip, in this grip, beetle grip actually. So after that you have to do a swing cut, which is basically splitting a packet from the deck like this. And if you don't know how to do a swing cut, I will give the link of my channel in the description. This is a very simple move. You you can as simple as that uh, <clears throat> you, you have to just hold the deck in, in middle grip and split the deck with your index finger and after you did that you have to come up with your left hand and place this packet at this position you have to hold basically hold the packet like this and after you did that you have to split another packet and this time you will not swing down this packet but this time you will swing down this bottom packet and you will and you will drop it like this like this this will be the final position this will be the position of the deck this is a really weird grip uh, but you will place down the packet like this so it will be easier when because uh, you have to split this packet outwards like this you have to split the bottom packet outwards and now what you have to do is place your thumb in the bottom of the upper packet and swing it like this and place it on the top and place this packet on the top so the move is done like this and after that you will find that order in the first position as you started so to, to clear out that this is a false good i am starting to uh, this i'm facing this card upwards so you'll be able to see and you can see that this card is in low position and I'm turning this card downwards so it'll be easier after the move is done so what you have to do is a swing cut hold the packet in this in this grip like this now another swing cut now hold the bottom packet like this and split out the bottom packet once again now place your thumb in the bottom of the that packet swing it like this place it on the left hands packet again you have to uh, place the other packet above the whole thing and now as you can see the cards are not changed they are the order is the same and the move is even after the move is done you can use this type of tricks in the magic tricks i'm not saying in the biggest slate of hands but the the basic the move is the basic the much basic the uh, false cut is the that will convince the audience much more because if you do many any fancy false cuts like um any fancy false cuts the audience will uh, think that you are doing something any slate to control that card and they will um, uh, they will be disturbed so i will suggest you if you are doing any magic tricks you should do this type of simple false cuts 
which the audience can't get any hint of so <clears throat> this was the tutorial last time i'm showing you last time once again i'm doing it the last time swing cut now place it on the fleshy part of your left hand another swing cut now you have to do is uh, place that packet like this in a curly position so it will be easier to hold this packet now split the bottom packet once again now place your thumb in the bottom of this packet rotate it and make it fall on the packet and now place the rest of the packet like this now you can do any variations of this part i have no problem but this uh, is a easy move and don't panic if you are a beginner it will it will take a long time to settle down the muscle memory and after you shall after your muscle memory is set you will be easily you can be you can do this type of moves easily so no need to worry about that it will take time if you are a beginner but you will nail down if you stick to it so thank you for watching and don't dislike like the video so i will get support i'm uh, i'm doing this channel with uh, very my life is very hard uh, if suck it there you are not even interested so like comment share and subscribe every youtuber says it but no one does it still you have to do it because i need support from you guys and thank you for watching this long smash